Hello world. Alright, first things first. If you're using WordPress, you'll notice one of the big glaring issues that you have with WordPress is simply adding a JavaScript code to your WordPress. You'll find out that's not an easy thing to do. So if you go on the WordPress.org um, website, they tell you a lot of complicated things. I believe this is complicated. First of all, to get word, um, JavaScript enabled on your um, WordPress blog or website, you have to validate or register the JavaScript code. If that sounds like Chinese to you, then you're in the right place because I'm going to show you an easy way of getting your JavaScript code working on your WordPress website hassle-free without even a line of code. Well, the only line of code you're going to be writing is actually the JavaScript. You won't be writing any NQ script or any of this complicated looking stuff. So let's get into it. All right, so first of all, Here's my sample page. This is for my website, um, Jamaica360 um, Media. All right, so this is just a sample page. And as you can see, it says a sample page. All right, so what we'll be trying to do is to enable this JavaScript clock right here. Let me scroll down. The code will be in the description. And when it's enabled, all you'll be able to do, you can see this countdown clock here. I've gone already and added the CSS. <clears throat> well, I haven't added the CSS yet, but I'm going to add the CSS and the JavaScript. So, first things first, let's copy this HTML here. So, I'm copying this HTML. I think you already have whatever you want to enable on your site. But this is just for demo purposes. So, we're going to be customizing the page. So you'll put whatever HTML you want in there. So mine says sample page. So we click over to text. And I'm just going to paste my HTML in there. Right there. Alright, so my HTML is right in there. And I'm going to update. <clears throat> Alright. So we're going to just do some housekeeping in terms of adding this CSS. So I'm copying this CSS. You'll have actually your own CSS when you're at this side. So you'll probably have your own CSS already. Oh, let me go back to that page here. Yeah, this is my page. And I'm going to update my page. All right. Now I'm going to add my CSS. So I'm going into Appearance Editor. This is not necessary if you already have your CSS um, already enabled. I'm just going to show you how to do the JavaScript, but you can even follow this guide if you want to enable your, your CSS as well. And you should be using a child version of your theme, but I'm going to be using my main one because I don't care like that. So, and I'm going to Style Sheet CSS. And in my style sheet, I'm going way down to the bottom here, just to get some fun, a nice looking clock. So I'm at the bottom of my style sheet. I should be. It's a pretty long style sheet. All right. So this should be the bottom of the style sheet. All right. So this is the bottom of the style sheet. All right. So I'm adding my CSS code here. Okay. That's my CSS code. All right, and then I'm just going to update the file. All right, so now let's look at that page that we created before. All right, so let, let us look at what our sample page now looks like. Now that we've added the HTML code in it and the, the, the PHP. All right, not PHP, sorry, the HTML and the CSS. Wow, somehow my mind is on PHP. Alright, so my page is called sample page and here it is sample page. So let's view this page. First thing you'll notice, apart from the fact that my clock isn't styled correctly, let me just check that CSS and make sure. So 
you'll notice something that the clock is installed correctly and there's no JavaScript. So when we look at this now, we realize that we have our JavaScript over here that we need to add. And this is the main part of the video. How do you add this JavaScript to your WordPress site? That's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do next will both fix that problem of that CSS and fix that problem of the JavaScript with one quick fix. So let's get into that part. So let's go back to our website. Let's go to the dashboard. And I said my fix is totally code free. And then let's just add a new plugin. And I'm going to tell you the name of the plugin that we're going to be adding. All right. And we'll do a search. And the search we're looking for is the plugin that we're searching for is called Scripts and styles and this is it scripts and styles and it's made by unfocus projects don't ask me i didn't make it and let's just install it and it starts to install and let's activate it when you activate it you're going to notice it doesn't show up anywhere you don't see it here but when you go to what the page that you've been writing let's just go back to our sample page here and let's go to our edit that page and when you click on edit you're going to notice something that has changed instantly I have a lot of things here you see scripts and styles here so you see a part for your styles which is your CSS and then you see a part for your scripts which is your JavaScript and you have one that is inserted between the head tag which makes it a global JavaScript so it will be available for um, throughout your entire site and then you have the one that's below it which is right down here which is the body tag this will mostly be concerned with the body of the page um, that you, you're dealing with so alright so first of all let's add our style sheet remember how messed up it looked before and if you don't remember, I'm going to bring up that page now that you can see it. Before we add the style sheet the proper way. So let's hold on. Let me show you. Okay. Let me enter that page. That so you can see it. Alright. This is our page without the proper CSS. It just says... It looks nothing like this styled one down here, which is countdown clock right here. That looks so all nice. So let's add our, the CSS that we have right here. And as I said, this is just an example. You can add your own CSS to whatever project you're doing. And let's just go down. And we're still in our edit. All right. See where it says styles. We click on styles. And we just simply just paste in our code. So let's just paste in our code and just click update styles. Alright. And after you click update styles, just click the update button right there. Let's refresh our sample page. This is what it looked like before. Let's refresh it. And there you go. Let's refresh it. Ah, now look at it. We're starting to see how our countdown clock will look. And this is the main reason you started to watch this video in the first place. Let's add our JavaScript. So we're copying the JavaScript code. This would be your code that you've already written. I'm just copying it from this page because I'm too lazy to actually go and write my own JavaScript. So I don't think you'll be that lazy, you'll actually be writing your own JavaScript. Anyways, I know, let's just click on script. So you click on that script tag, and then you can choose any other two. I'm going to add it down to the bottom here. You don't need to write in the, the anchor script tag. You don't need that because they tell you that it's already here. So it's between the two script tags right here. And just click update scripts. And after you click that, just simply go and click on update again, which is updating the page. And that's it, guys. Let's see what it looks like now. This is it before the JavaScript kicked in. 
and this is it after the JavaScript. There we go, a functioning clock. Your JavaScript is now enabled on this page and your CSS is also enabled on this page without you having to modify your theme, so style sheet or even your child style sheet for your, 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 your theme. You can just enable the JavaScript on this particular page or site-wise if you want, site-wide if you want. It's simple. And but the most important thing and the reason why you watch is to simply enable JavaScript without writing and let me show you all of this complicated WP MQ script handle blah 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 blah. This is why it's called code solutions. This is why we say code solutions. We're just showing you the simple way to get things done. There are two ways of getting things done: the very hard way and the very simple easy code solutions way all right thank you for your patience thank you for sitting through this video and staying with me until i got to the point if you're still there are you still there and since you're already there and you're probably still there why not subscribe i'm pretty sure there's a subscribe button over there um i don't get paid a lot from these videos so when i see subscriptions it encourages me, encourages me to go out and to make more videos like this simple stuff so i hope this helped i hope this solved your problem and thanks for watching guys